please stand for the bride. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Dear friends, I welcome you to this celebration of love. On this momentous occasion, John and Julia will exchange their marital vows. John and Julia, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends, as today in the presence of, the, of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart desire and fulfill everyone of your prayers.
Let us pray. Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for John and Julia. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of that love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. What we have now is the liturgy of the word. May I invite the readers for the first reading, Alexandra and Rudy, to come, please. A reading from the Song of Songs. I hear my beloved, see how he comes, leaping on the mountains, bounding over the hills. My beloved is like a gazelle, like a young stag. See where he stands behind our wall. He looks in at the window, he peers through the lattice. My beloved lifts up his voice, he says to me, Come then, my love, my lovely one, come. My dove, hiding in the clefts of the rock, in the covets of the cliff, show me your face. Let me hear your voice, for your voice is sweet and your face is beautiful. My beloved is mine and I am his. Set me like a seal on your heart, like a seal on your arm. For love is strong as death, jealousy relentless as Sheol. The flash of it is a flash of fire, a flame of the Lord himself. Love no flood can quench, no torrents drown. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the 
For the second reading, Henry and Sophia, please. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be ambitious for the higher gifts, and I am going to show you a way that is better than any of them. If I have all the eloquence of men or of angels, but speak without love, I am simply a gong booming or a, cra a cymbal crashing. If I have the gift of prophecy, understanding all the mysteries there are, and knowing everything, and if I have faith in all its fullness to move mountains, but without love, then I am nothing at all. If I give it away all that I possess, piece by piece, and if I even let them take my body to burn it, but I'm without love, it will do me no good whatever. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It does not take offense and it is not resentful. Love takes no pleasure in other people's sins, but delights in the truth. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for also those who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us as you are in me and I in you, so that the world may believe that it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, with me in them and you in me, may they be so completely one that the world will realize that it was you who sent me and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. John and Julia, that big moment has finally arrived. Your lives are about to be joined together as one in this holy matrimony. Are you ready for this? That's good. The journey of these two, Julia and John, it might interest you to know, started at a playground with a simple throw of a ball. And the ball was thrown by one of them, and it hit the other. It was intentional, I must tell you, meant to draw attention. And its purpose was achieved. But what I will not do here is to tell you who did the throwing. Those who knew about the story, they know who among them did the throwing. But we thank God for that simple throw of a ball that has metastasized into this momentous occasion which we have gathered here to witness the love between Julia and John. You know, marriage is called holy matrimony because it is instituted by God who alone is holy. And we call it the sacrament. It is not a contract because God becomes a party in every sacramental marriage. At the beginning of creation, God said something very interesting about the union of a man and a woman. It is not good for a man to be alone. This suggests that he is incomplete. Something is missing. I will make a helper, a mate for him. Then afterwards, he took a rib from the side of a man, Adam, after he had made him fell into a deep sleep. And from that, he made the woman, Eve. So, Julia, that means that you complete John, and he completes you. You left your families to form this home. It means that you are bringing into your home your individualities. And those individualities, they make you whom you are. But you can only live in this home by working together because you complete each other. So therefore, the first reading has something to tell you. From Sons of Sons, chapter 2, the last paragraph says, My beloved is mine, and I am his. Set me like a seal on your heart. I wonder who is saying this among you now. Both of you are saying it. Like a seal on your arm. Today we will say that that seal is a form of a tattoo. And that is telling us more about how you have to work together. 
to carry the interests of the other person at heart, close to you at all times. Think of that for a moment. And he went on to say, love, no flood can quench, no torrent drown. In these words, you have the summary of what married relationship is. A love which is at the heart of marriage, that love must be deep. That love has to be loyal. It has to be ready to give all and ready to make sacrifice. That same message of love continued in the second reading. Love is always patient and kind. It continued that that love is never jealous. Love that is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. But that love delights in the truth. It is ready to excuse, to trust, and to hope. At the beginning of that paragraph, it says that it calls for us to be ambitious. And I have to put it to you or ask you, John, are you ambitious for this love? It is not the kind of ambition that subjugates, but ambition that frees. I do not know what might be going on in your mind still. Perhaps you might be thinking about some of the words of the country musician Slim Dusty. Looking forward and looking back. I think in the stanza two of that lyric, he says, there are strange days full of changes on the way, but we will be fine. Unlike some, I will be leaning forward to see what is coming. You see, John and Julia, there is no perfect marriage even the marriages that have lasted for years, whether it's 25, 40, or 60, have had their struggles, moments of challenges. And that will not be different from yours. But marriage is something good, something beautiful. I know that. Anyway, I'm not married anywhere, but... <laughs> but from all indication and what you can see around us, among our family, we know that marriage is beautiful. So you are entering into something very beautiful. You have to cherish it, and you have to protect it. So how you protect your marriage during moments of challenges and I mean the changing things of the world, is by talking. So communication is key in marriage. In fact, it is the most important ingredient in any marriage. Whether it is relationship, friendship, or marriage, all this union starts with communication. And you all started with communication, but a non-verbal one, the simple throw of a ball. 
But as you enter this momentous time of your life that will transform you, remember that Jesus has prayed for love to bind you, the kind of love that the Father has for all of us. So make Jesus your friend. Call to him, not in troubled times, but at all times. My prayer for you is that the words of Jesus in the gospel that you chose, that God will fill you with that love that will bind you as one. Happy married life. John and Julia, you have come together into the house of God so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you through a special sacrament, he enriches you and strengthens those he has also consecrated in holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intention. The first question answer I have, the other two I have. John and Julia, have you come here to enter into marriage without cohesion, freely and wholeheartedly? I have. Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? I am. Since it is your intention to enter into the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, John Ashley Panitza, take you. Take you, Julia Rose Silvestri, to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Julia Rose Silvestri. Take you. Take you, John Ashley Panitza. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. To love you and honor you all the days of my life. 
be. May the Lord in his kindness strengthen the consent that you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, bless and consecrate John and Julia in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other and always remind them of their love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Julia, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love for you. For you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. John. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love for you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the, Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you may now kiss your bride. I invite us now to stand. Prayer of the faithful. I invite Eliza and Nicola, please. We have listened to the word of God I know the Lord is present at this exchange of vows. Let us now ask God to listen to us, to bless our words of prayer, which we offer for the people of the world. That their love may be patient and gentle, ready to trust and to endure whatever comes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That they may pray together in joy and sorrow and always give thanks for the gift of each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will bless their daily work and perfect them and perfect through them his work of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. that peace may dwell in their home and give hope of peace to the world. 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all married people may be helped to renew and deepen their love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will bring salvation to the world by expressing Christ's love for all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have come into the lives of John and Julia through the gift of married love. Remain with them always and show your great love for those who call you their father. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made on the occasion of this sealing of the sacred bond of marriage. And just as your goodness is its origin, may your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the birth of children brings beauty to the world, the rebirth in baptism gives increase to the church through Christ our Lord. Through him, with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice.
giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, Kenneth and Tim, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Be mindful also, Lord, of Julia and John, whom you have brought to their wedding day, so that by your grace they may abide in mutual love and in peace. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be called earth to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. My dear friends, let us ask God for his continued blessings upon John and Julia. Holy Father, curator of the universe, maker of men and women in your own likeness, source of blessing for married life. We humbly pray to you for this woman who today is united with her husband in this sacrament of marriage. May your fullest blessing come upon her and her husband so that they may together rejoice in your gift of married love and enrich your church with their children. Lord, may they both praise you. 
when they are happy, and also turn to you in their sorrows. May they be glad that you help them in their work and know that you are with them in their need. May they pray to you in the community of the church and be your witnesses in the world. May they reach old age in the company of their friends and come at last to the kingdom of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that it should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It is now time for reception of Holy Communion.
Let us pray. Lord, we who have shared the food of your table, pray for our friends, John and Julia, whom you have joined together in marriage. Keep them close to you always. May their love for each other proclaim to all the world their faith in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
thank you so much The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow and pray for God's blessings. May the Lord Jesus, who was the guest at the wedding in Cana, bless you and your families and friends. Amen. May Jesus, who loved his church to the end, Always fill your hearts with his love. Amen. May he grant that as you believe in his resurrection, so you may wait for him in joy and hope. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's my privilege to introduce to you the newest couple on earth, John and Julia.